guys, it's Crystal here with Art It Out, and it is Mini Mission of Happiness time. Yay! Um, just a quick thank you to Roz for hosting last week's uh, Mini Mission. I hope each and every one of you um, enjoy it. Got over there, watched her video, and enjoyed it. You know, I'm hoping to bring in more of the members at least once a month on some way or another to do something with the group so super excited thank you thank you thank you Roz I loved it this week's is be you you guys know when I'm trying to come up with these things I just let inspiration um, guide me you know that's just how I am <laughs> so I was having a, oh, a time, you know, we all second guess ourselves, you know, oh, I wish we, I could do that like her, or I wish I would keep my house clean or like good moms, you know, or I wish I could look like that, you know, we all have that, I want the, you know, I wish I was this, I wish I was that, we all do, each and every one of us do. Well, you know what? I was actually looking at, you guys know I love drawing, well, working on my faces and things, and I was looking in a book I got from a friend, and it's uh, The Beautiful Faces or Beautiful People, whichever it is, by Jane Davenport. Love her work. Well, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, God, I wish I could draw like her. And as I keep walking, I'm looking, I'm going, you know what? Why would I want to? Because then I would just be another her. So... I, you know, stopped myself and was like, you know what, mine are good. Mine are fun. Mine are whimsical. I don't have to have them like her, you know. Um, that's the point to it right there. Be you. We have a million and a half people. Be you. You're unique. You're individual. So this um, prompt or inspiration is be you. And for me, it's... Um, flying by the seat of my pants as usual, so that is what mine is going to be. So, however you want to take that prompt, make it your own. Let's have some fun, guys. I'm going to dry this up. Alrighty, let's continue on, guys. I've got one of my dragonfly stamps, because as you guys know, if you've been with me, my dragonflies have been a part of me for a while. I want it for background. Kind of looks bad, but oh well. Okay, wipe that off. Let's hit this with a quick dry. ink so it shouldn't go everywhere but that you know it doesn't mean nothing because sometimes if it's just a little bit wet it will um, be funky I'm actually gonna try something today I got I got a horrible boogie over here Ugh. paint boogies This is all oh, per craft paint, island green. One of my, and this is the same brand, but it is island blue. We're doing islands today, I guess. Um, I've taken a flat sponge. I've got I don't know where from. That didn't work like I thought it would. <laughs> Not working like I thought, guys. Let me put maybe more on the side. That might work. Okay. I was hoping I could like slide it across and get the kind of cool look. Yeah, you guys know. You guys know. 
show you guys now. I like to try different things and this isn't working. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna keep going. Keep on going. I don't really much care if it looks exactly alike, some similar, whatever. We get the yeah, kind of the look, I think. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, let's see here. We don't get it on there. Kind of cool looking. Go right on top. Adding for another texture, another, another fun way. Why not? Doesn't have to be perfect to have fun. We know that, right, guys? <laughs> Just two colors playing around. I like yeah, it. There we go. Alright, I got my scribble sticks out because, you know, for me to be me, mm -hmm. I have got to. I'm trying to say what colors I want to use here. Um, circles. For being me, circles. I love my circles, so. We're going to scribble some circles. And this is, I just dipped it in paint or water here. It's one of the ways to use them. They're just so fun. I'm using them more and more, so. know me I'm even I gotta have it odd numbers so this one's gonna come off the off the page. Yay <laughs> Alright let's see here. I'll let that dry a little bit while we move on to the next part which is gonna be uh, I'm really thinking this wetting the tip is really my favorite way to use these these scribble sticks. makes it pop. I know it makes it stand out more on these lovely flowers. It really does. We're just doing some whim whimsically little things. Nothing, nothing woohoo or hard. So, <laughs> all right. I need. We need a whim winner. We need a winner. We need some middles on those flowers. I'm thinking yellow. I don't know if we can do it, but we're going to try. There we go. And we're going to turn a little orangey, it looks like. Uh, let me wipe that off. That's alright. I'm okay with it. a different color there. That's alright with me. Alright, I'm going to dry these up and we'll be back. Alrighty guys, it needs more, the middle needs more, but 
Get some loop de loops or something on these. Um, thinking some. Um, it's gonna really come in. Let's go with the darker, yeah. Let's try the dark. <laughs> I like it. Isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. So be you in your art. Be you in everything, you know? Wear what you want to wear. That's one thing I never understood as a kid. Um, was, you know, if you don't wear something that's in, you're not popular. Well, I was never popular that way anyways. Because I was always the type of person that wore what I wanted to wear, no matter what. I got Mommy. me in some trouble, but hey. Mommy. It's me. Mommy. What are you? Piece of candy. Piece of candy. Okay, give me two seconds, okay? Piece of candy. Alright, just hold on. No. Uh, I'm using yellow. Let me try to go over these a little bit more. Um, there we go. A little too much there. Just to get bright and nice and yellowy up. And pink. Just hold on, buddy. There we go. I think it's pretty good, actually. So. A lot. All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so I'm going to take um, this month's one of this month's stencils here. Yes, it's a mess. I don't clean my shit off very often. And I got this quote on this one, but I just want the BU, so I'm going to use just the BU. Get right there would look really good. If I can get it to lay down with this little. I'm using um, Liquitex Basic White um, because I wanted it thick for I can just boom, 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 boom. It's a nice hearty white, and that's what I wanted. Okay. Not bad considering I was on a slope. <laughs> I'm going to let that dry, and as we're letting that dry, I have this cute little skull, cutesy girl. If any of you guys have this set, stamp set, um, message me. I would love to do a, maybe some, swap some stamps, because I want, I don't have this one, and I got it off a Happy Meal. Um, I don't remember who's a horrible that way. Anyways, I've been holding on to this bad boy, because I love it so much. So if anybody, like I said, has that one, that set and would be interested in doing maybe some uh, stamps that swap, you know, stamp up images and swap with me. I'd love it. So, I'm thinking, I love her, you know, be you. So, I want to put her there. And, of course, with me, you got to have, after the stars, I think I'm going to put a little owl. So, I'm going to dry this up, glue her down, or tape her down. I haven't figured out which. Probably blue. Let's do that. There it is. Good old tacky glue. But yeah, I've been holding on to her because she just... Eh, I just love it. It's cute. It's fun. And you know what? She, or he, so she to me, is being itself. So, I love it. If I can get her to stick down, that will be another another option <laughs> all right guys i will be back after i dry it up i like it i got my white out i'm gonna try to put maybe a few dots here in the middle so i can get my white to work Just 
on shaking this stuff up. Just not quite bright enough for me, so I'm just gonna. Just a little. Just a little bit more. But then I thought, why not? There we go. Fun. Super fun. I'm leaving those away there. I like them. Okay, I might actually take my weight. If you notice, I did go around the flowers again, the blue. Um, and I'll tell you why. Once, looks kind of chaos, but if you do it twice, it's whimsical <laughs> So if you ever have, like, something not work out and you think, oh, no, it looks silly or childish, do it again, messily, and you know what? There you go. you got a whimsical look, so. The difference between childish and whimsical Didn't know that, did ya? At least that's my theory on it. <laughs> You learn something every day. <laughs> I am not going to touch that because I got that like that. So I like it like that. Next, we need a border. I actually picked out these. I got a really great deal on these. I ordered them off of... Well, darn it. That Amazon. Um, these mixed media stamps. I've been using a lot of them because I really like them. So, it's like one of those add ons that to buy something. And you get them really cheap if you buy them. So, there we go. I don't know how good this is going to work. The only thing with this is kind of off. Cute. I like it. Now we're going to do the bottom. Probably shouldn't until it dries, but hey. When, is it, when have I ever waited for anything, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's cute. I like it. I gotta do the sides, and we're good to go. So there you go, guys. That is this week's mini mission of happiness. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you come over on Art It Out Facebook group and share your work. Um... Or if you just want to come over and get inspired by other things, come on over. Happiness to you. Go make a mess and be you guys. Bye!